with the same amount of podium it results was, as well. It was something ludicrous, like three or four camp back points, wasn't it, before we could actually declare a, a, a championship winner? It was down to the number of fourth places each car had had. As now to the outside, Richard leads. Oh, oh, it's it's Laza now. It's oh, sorry, Laza. Felipe La Laza, yeah. Fernandez Laza taking charge of the 93 car. Is this an outlap? No, not quite. It's, uh, the it's an outlap for the 80 car. Okay, so tyre temperature might have dipped very slightly, but uh, presumably, therefore, Felipe Laza is saying this is my time to pounce because this is the best opportunity of taking the race lead. Miguel Molina is the new driver into the 80 car. He's, he's coping not, well. He's not going to be used to pass. It's no. a Miguel Molina. He and I think visually, on the balance of performance, that Ferrari is down the straights so much better than the Porsche. The Porsche is good through the corners, and that's where Leitz was closing in on the 80 Ferrari. And as you can see in the background, just four and a half seconds back, Rahel Fry. And that, this is going to become a three-car battle very rapidly. Well, Molina driving deliberately defensively. Just wonder if he can make the break on the Porsche and then focus on the road in front. He should be able to inch away, but this is the part of the circuit now where, for me, that favours the Porsche and Felipe Fernandez Laza trying around the outside of the black and white Ferrari of Miguel Molina. Tire attempts on the Goodyear Eagle still coming in for the Ferrari, whereas the Porsche has had a couple of laps to already do that. And Leitz having got by previous driver in the 80. Uh, Matteo Cressoni. Now the new drivers in both of these cars are going to have to replicate that. And let's hope that Felipe Fernandez Laza was watching exactly what teammate Ricard Leitz did at turns three and four to finally crack the stranglehold of car 80. Guessing, by the way, second place cars just had a problem in traffic. Louis Della tries to the 41 Team WRT car. But in a 137, dropped three seconds the leader and to the third place car last time around. So he's beginning to see Ferdinand Habsburg lip syncing in his um, rear view mirror. Dream world. What is that? I, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope that uh, the headphones have been left in the garage and he will be now singing to the, to the uh, glorious. Um, sounds of the Gibson engine powering his Orica 07 for Ferdi Habsburg running in third position behind Louis Delatraz four and a half seconds away and Tom Gamble who leads the race by 11.4 seconds turns three and four are where the GT leaders are now and 15 or 20 or so minutes ago there was that lead change when Ricard Leitz got ahead of Matteo Cressoni Laza trying to pressurise Miguel Molina into a mistake. He's getting very close, too close. There was contact there between was. the front of the Porsche and the rear of the Ferrari at Tour of it, and a little bit of the rear diffuser on the Ferrari chipped away. It's been a cracking battle in GTE, hasn't it? These two cars have been front and centre for it. At the moment, we've got real battles in the last 51 minutes of this race for the win in GTE and for the win overall. Louis Delatras, by the way, back up to speed, and there you go. And there was indeed a bump. And a bit of bodywork. That yep. might have been Porsche coloured, actually, breaking away from the nose of the 911 RSR 19. So a moment for Miguel Molina to recover from, but uh, the power was still there from the Ferrari, and I think deliberately Lars are getting out of the throttle. Now, this is an interesting moment for Michael Fassbender because.